Good afternoon again to all our viewers. Uh, maraming salamat sa inyong uh, pagtutok sa NCAA's National Collegiate Athletic Association on this Thursday. It's uh, July 26th. Oh, Tuesday, that is. Medyo na, na fast forward lang. Oh, oh, fast forward na. na oh. Medyo minsan hindi ko na rin alam kung anong araw na. <laughs> oh, oh. Andre Felix, kasama si Martin Antonio. Myrtle Saros at courtside at College of St. Benil contra sa University of Perpetual Health System Delta sa ating punong laro kanina nagsimula yan ng 11.45 Arellano winning against EAC 88-82 with 4 wins and 2 losses ng Arellano San Sebastian losing to LPU in the second game 83-79 LPU with a 3 game winning streak How missing on the layup easy pero wala D-Zone back to How nag-isip pa Lalabas muna ni Jack Howe with more than enough time to execute a decent play. Six to go. They go to Eze. Anticipate ni Arona. Last touch. Tapong segundo mananatili sa shot clock ng Perpetual Health. Ito mo, Bright. Ako ay tinakayakap na lang. Oh, sa support staff nila eh. Yan talaga eh. Kaya nga support staff, ginagawang support ng mga players eh. Parang support group. Oo, ganun talaga eh. 57-39. It's been all perpetual health, especially here in the second half. The only quarter the College of St. Benil has outscored the Altas was back in the second quarter. Young, the jumper, Carlo and Young. he gets that. Those two points, five points for Carlo Young. Oh, and meron naman talaga eh. May ilalabas talaga itong College of St. Benil Blazers. Kailangan lang maging consistent sila eh. All throughout the game. May mga times na nawawala-wala yung effort nila eh. Kaya na-overpower ng, ng kabilang team. Sadiwa. 15 seconds on their shot clock. Perpetual Altas currently with three wins and two losses. Oh, in a game ni Carly Young, Prince Eze. Oh, pero tatawagan ng foul si Sadiwa. Oh, ito nga. Sinasabi nga natin. 3-2. Itong uh, Perpetual Altas. Tap na sila dyan ng Arellano Chiefs. Ito yung ikaapat na pwesto, ah. Yun yung agaw, Martin. Oo, oh, yeah, yun yung agaw na yun. Good help side defense. May Carly Young off the blind side yun. AJ yeah. Coronel for Rick Galeando. Jeff Coronel is back in. Para kay Coach Jim Olgigan. Ilabas muna si Rick Galeando. 8 minutes and 20 seconds. Ang nalalabay sa ating laro. That's also the time left for College of St. Benil to make a last push to get their win number one, if ever, Four here in Season 92, or get uh, loss number seven. Mahirap-hirap yun, yung itong sunod-sunod na talo. Talagang kailangan makakuha ng uh, starting point, kumbaga, itong mga bata ni Coach Gabby Velasco. And just doon, si Kendrick Belica. Nakakuha naman ni Castor, ang offensive rebound, Castor calling the play, asking for a screen from Pajariliaga. Bagsak dun si Sadiwa. It was a good so, screen. Very good screen. Alam mo dun si uh, Freddy Pajariliaga, reminds me of another College of St. Benin Blazer who also played for the UPIS program, si Jacob Mandapas. Their build, the way they play, good comparison. Oh, yeah, yeah, very yeah, yeah. With all due respect, Jacob oh, Mandapas. But he was a very good high school player. Course, he was a classmate of mine and a very, very right. good high school player. Speaking of good, that was a good move. Mula kay Yankee Haruna. Anna Puntos palamang do ang kinakana ni Yankee Haruna. Jack Howe, matake. And over to Eze with an easy two. Matatawagan ng Paul pa doon si uh, Lance Sadiwa at that driver kay Gerard Castor. Bertol Sarosa is with the birthday boy. <laughs> Assistant coach, uh, Rafa Dinglasan. Yes, Lange, kasama ko nga ngayon ang ating birthday boy who celebrated his 48th birthday last July 23. <laughs> 48 lang ba? I'm only 25 but yeah. 20 years of experience. <laughs> Naku, coach, share mo naman sa amin, coach. Ano yung mga naging uh, celebration ninyo during your birthday? Well, may utang pa ako sa team. Huwag kayo magkala. In-interview na ako. Papakainin ko kayo Friday after the game. Kami, I just, Dapat kasama kami doon, Coach. Sama. May game, may game naman tayo. I, I, I spent it with my family lang, children and all. And um, sabi ko sa kanila, bigyan niyo naman ako ng isang panalo. Oh, birthday ko naman. <laughs> coach, Three, alam mo, Coach, sa base na namin yung mga posts ng mga players. Hindi tulad na lang ni Ipon sa Avedra, who sent you a very, very touching heart message. What can you say sa mga messages sa'yo ng mga players mo na mahal na mahal talaga kayo, Azer? 
first of all, coaches are the second fathers of the players. And since Ponce's family is in the States, parang I'm, I'm the dad. You know, and siyempre, tisoy naman. <laughs> and I, I make it a point to bond with them and ask them what the problems are. Not only on the court, off the court, if they have problems. They, they can, they can, I'm easily uh, approachable naman. Coach, ano yung birthday wish mo? Maliban sa panalo? Yun na yun eh. Well, <laughs> health, health, and I like to say hi to Lala and my two kids, Enika and Marina. Thank you, I love you. <laughs> Happy birthday, Coach. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very much. Napaka-importante talaga Brandon, na mga Coach Parsons. Yes, may tanong ako kay Coach Sarah. Oh, may tanong Sarah. tayo mula kay Coach Hammer. Coach, umamin ka na ba ng foul mo? Di minsan. Ano, ano? Umamin ka na ba ng foul? Kahit isang beses? <laughs> Umamit ka na ba sa mga foul mo ni Minsan? Na, wala. Foul ba yun? Hindi <laughs> <laughs> foul yun ah. Hindi pa yun siya lang. Mali, mali niya siya. <laughs> so coach, happy, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All the best coach. Basta coach, okay lang hindi umamin sa foul. Basta umamin ka pagdating sa bahay. ha? <laughs> pagdating sa misis, umamin tayo. <laughs> Ano mo kabait niyan, Coach Rafa? Of course, of course. One of the nicest guys here at the NC. One of the most approachable assistant coaches and coaches, of course, here in the NCA. Pero ayaw mo kalaro ng pick-up game yan. Medyo mamamasake ka dyan. Ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-
Yan ka na naman sa pinakot mo eh. Siyempre! Yan kaya ko na has to go back to the bench. He may have... Oh! And Bryson Aquetti! What a job! Pointing to the panel is Big Bright Aquetti. Mr. Brightside pointing to us. He called it! He called it on the reverse. Bright Aquetti! Mr. Brightside one more time. Going inside, out, one, two, step, reverse. Jam, pinakuan, Bright Aquetti. Isa bang beses, Martin? It was so nice, you gotta see it twice, Andre. 17 puntos para kay Mr. Brightside. Sabay turo sa atin dito sa pano. Bright Aquetti, 17 points. Six rebounds, four blocks. Para dito kay Mr. Make that eight rebounds for Bright Aquetti. Oh, talagang kinukontinue niya yung very strong performance niya. Last game, 21 and 16. Ngayon naman, 17 and 8. 18.3 ang kanyang average. Oh, number 3. Number 3 yan sa season na to. In 25 minutes play of play per game. Dapat naman siguro kung ganyang kakalaki, ganyang karami rin yung pinibigay mo sa team mo. At grabe yung kumpiyansa niya, no? Talaga he makes it really look so easy. Also, idolizes of course to Lebron James. Ito si Mr. Brightside, Bright Aquetti. Maroon din mag-soccer yan at mag-volleyball yun si Aquetti. That's how athletic that big is. Domingo. JJ Domingo. Slip and layup there for JJ Domingo. Medyo binago ni Coach Gabby Velasco yung point of attack niya. Dalawang entry sa top of the key. High post action ang ginawa doon. Ito, Carlo Young nakakuha ng turnover. Sidestep, medyo binomba pa. Carlo Young. Tinggalaw noon, Andre. Carlo Young. 4-0 swing. Para dito sa College of St. Manil. Pinabasa 13. Aquetti has the leather to Howe. Oh, nice pick. Nice move by Jack Howe. Everything but the shot. Oh, bagsak si Aquetti. Bukang graduate na si Christian Fajarito. That will be his fifth personal foul. Tingnan natin itong galaw ni Carlo Young sa kabilang tao. Binitbit. Christian Fajarito, my boss. Oh, Farito, a graduate in 18 minutes of play, six points, three of eight, thirty-eight percent from the field, with just three rebounds today. Alam mo, Andre, nasabi mo nga yung field goal percentage ni Christian Parito na 38%. Napakarami nilang nakukuhang libreng tira sa ilalim. Kailangan lang talaga makikonvert nila. And speaking of conversion, flying out of nowhere to Jeff Coronel with that hip in, Andre. Pero 15 sa tatlong minutos na ating naglalabi dito sa ating laro. Carlo Young getting free out but passing to nowhere sa Vedra. Could not save the basketball. Possessions like those, Martin has been. What's happening para sa College of St. Benil? Not just in this game, pero sa mga laro din nila in their previous outings. Talagang dahil hindi mo naman magagamit excuse ang youth, but again, yung familiarity eh. Kailangan na kailangan nila na more games to play and just be familiar with each other eh. Kung saan pa-pop out sa ball screen na yun, in-expect ni Carlo yung fe-flare si Ponsa Avedra, pero rumul naman. Ang produkto ng Tarlac, Mentes mula sa 3 and look at that man, Bright Aquetti just having fun. 19 na ang kinakamada ni Mr. Brightside. Yo, Bright Aquetti, talaga tumatrabaho. Pido, the spin on Saavedra, wala.
Eh mga laro po tayo sa Webes. Mga exciting na laro na naman dito sa kauna-unahang ligang pangkoleyo ng ating bansa on its 92nd season of the National Collegiate Athletic Association. Our games on Thursday, just two games. At 1.45, it will be the Heavy Bombers of Jose Rizal University contra sa Colegio de San Juan de Letran, the college, the uh, defending champions, that is. At para naman sa ating pangalawang laro, Martin, it will be the Sun Bederet Lions contra sa Mabuwa Cardinals. Heavyweight battle yan, ha? Dalawang nangungunang teams. At itong GRU Heavy Bombers, sa unang laro, humahabol yan para makatikit dun sa unang limang teams na dum gustong pumasok sa Final Four. That's right, JRU now with two wins and three losses. Ito namang uh, San Beda College, of course, with still, wala pang talo, six wins. At tayo yata magkasama sa unang laro. Oo, oh, tayo, tayo magkasama sa Meron unang laro. Meron talaga itanong kay Coach Berhel, eh. Dre, yung tanong, ano, ko, yung ano, tanong ko rin last year, eh. Nagmamano na ba? Wala mong pinaparad tayo ni Gabriel Mayos ka. So, JRU versus Letran again at, at the 145 and then San Beda versus Mapua. JRU is 2-3 and 3. With 2 and 3. Poleo de San Juan de Letran with 4 wins and 2 losses. At ito namang San Beda College Red Lions 6 and 0. Oh. They're the only team undefeated dito sa NSA Season 92 at Mapua Institute of Technology 5-1. Magandang bakbakan din yun. Oo, napakaganda ng standings natin, Andre. Kasi kung titignan mo from the number 3 spot to the number 7 spot, dikit-dikit sila dyan. Only half a game. Well, Talaga ang naghihiwalay sa kanila. Yaki Haruna is fourth for the Blazers. Yaki Haruna, tinawagan ng fourth personal foul. Christian Fajarito earlier fouled out. Napakatapang din itong bata to. Napakatibay ng katawan. Si, uh, I'm talking about Yankee Aruna as we see Gap Dagangon converting on that free throw. We saw ito si Yankee Aruna bumagsak. Tinamaan na yung Siko. Tapos uh, na-injured din. Parang oh, na-hyper-extend. Mukhang natamaan din yung tuhod. Nagkabanggaan. Oh. But he's still back on the floor. Naglalaan oh, oh. ay Alam mo, anong mas matibay sa katawan niya? Yung buhok. Hindi nagagalaw eh. Yan ka lang. Nakita mo yung buhok. Kung ano ang mga napapansin mo, siguro napapailing na lamang sa, <laughs> sa loob ng ABC Bench Sports Band. Si Derek Abbott Ramos and si Kuya Mark Morados, of course, manong natatawa na lamang. Sino napapailing sa bahay? Sino? Yung nanay ko at saka lola ko na nanonood. At saka yung sa inaala ko si Simone, nanonood din ngayon eh. So, again, Andre, talagang napakaganda ng uh, materialis na ito ni Yankee Haruna. Napanggit mo nga kanina. Matagal na rin siya naglalaro sa college, inaantay niya itong pagkakataon na to. Coming from the Green Archers, now with the Blazers, and every minute counts for him. Isang minuto at 25 na segundo ang nalalabi. Domingo, inaharas na agawan na tumuloy-tuloy itong si JJ Domingo. Nasa loob na si Yuhiko para sa perpetual help. Tatlong uh, games lang yan naglaro this season. 19 minutes lang in action. Oliver 35, Kendricks Belica. Belica. Will foul out. Three uh, points, three rebounds. And JJ, tinignan pa. Oo. Oh. Ito, Andre, unti-unti na nga nauubos yung mga big man ni Barbara. Coach Gabby Velasco. Oh. Si Bright na kwenti lang naman yung kailangan nilang pigilan. Eh. Mukhang kukulangin pa yung labing limang taon dyan sa mga mang yan. Ganong kalaking bagay si Clement Lucho. Oo, oo naman. Na wala dito. Dahil it gives a different dynamic. Eh. Kumukuha ng rebound, dumidipensa. So sinabing 6 to 8 weeks, Martin, when do we expect Clement Lucho to be back in a green and white uniform for College of St. Benil? As Akweti knocks down both free throws, he now has 21 points. Eh, of course, Andre, isipin mo muna dyan yung kapakanan ng player mo eh. Hindi mo naman mamadaliin yan. Dahil, again, he is on his first year sa paglalaro dito sa NCAA. Gusto mong mas mapahaba pa at mas ma-improve yung ilalaro niya. So, pwede 6 to 8 weeks. Uh, he would miss a couple of games papunta sa second round. Pero we're, we're praying for a speedy recovery para dito kay Clement Lucci. Akin bagay, ang 6 foot 7 na Cameroonian native of Duwala. Cameroon, si Clement Lucho na hindi po naglaro para sa College of St. Benilde. Isang minuto or close to two minutes pa lamang ang uh, itinakbo ng first quarter dun sa larong yun against LPU last week. 
Ito yung mga careless passes na ganyan ni Andre. Ngayon, yung mga minutes na natitira, yung mga seconds na lang. Gusto mo makakita ng good habits from your players. Eh. Yan yung mong tutulong sa kanila para sa magpapabilis ng growth. Martin, I have a question for you as we, of course, dying seconds of this game. Obviously, not going to three-second violation. Si Akwete, tumatawad pa <laughs> sa ating opisyalis. Lamang sila ng 17. But here's my question for you. In seven games played for College of St. Benil, is there a light? Hindi na bright side para dito sa College of St. Benil. Clemen Luchu na injured, out for six to eight weeks. Your lone foreign player, of course, uh, as we see, College uh, of St. Benil dropped to 0-7. Is there something to look forward to na maganda para sa College of St. Benil? If there is, what is it? Alam mo, Andre, nanggaling ako sa ganyang experience. Kinukwento ko nga kanina, 0 out of 11 kami noon sa PBL. Sa PBL, and then we went into the season na 0 and 6. So, 17 game losing streak. The, uh, the, following, the following year, nag-champion kami. So, kailangan lang talaga, you play through it. Eh. You play through the humps and just look, look into the next game, next possession. Mentes ang huling dagdag ni Bright Aquetti. Final score, 70 to 55. Coach Jimwell Gikan, let's take a look. Jack Howe to Prince Eze. Yung mga ganong pasa yung mga kailangan mo from your shock troopers. Eh, dahil lagi namang nandiyan yung Bright Aquetti. Final score, again, 70 for... University of Perpetual Help, System Delta 55 for College of St. Benilde. So, Perpetual Help will go now to four wins and two losses. Tatabla sila with Colegio de San Juan de Letran and also with Arellano University, four and two. And ang College of St. Benilde will drop to 0 and 7 here in season 92. The best player of the game, that you have chosen is? Oh, shining bright like a diamond. Bright Aquetti, back-to-back games of 21 points. Ginagdagan pa niya ng sham na rebounds. At apat na supalpal para dito kay Mr. Brightside, Bright Aquetti. Mr. Brightside, Bright Aquetti. Finishing with those numbers. One rebound shy of a double-double. But more importantly, para dito sa mga estudyante na mula pang Las Piñas, the Perpetual Health Students, they go up four wins and two losses. Again, ito po ang schedule natin para sa inyo sa Webes. Oh, Jose G Rizal University. Oh, Jerry Heavy Bombers contra Letran Knights and the San Bedered Lions contra sa Mapua Cardinals. Heavyweight battles. Ito, Andre. Magandang bakbakan yan. It will be you and me in the first game. Yes. And I believe Anton Rojas kasama si kung hindi ako nagkakamali si Olsen Racela. Mm -hmm. And of course, the courtside reporters for both games. Of course, the reporter that is for both games will be Roxanne Monte Alegre. Again, first game today, we had three offerings for you. Levin Flores scored 20 points and 16 rebounds to Arellano Scos, 88 to 82 contra sa EAC. In the second game earlier, it was 83 to 79 in favor of Lyceum of the Philippines University. At namayani don, siempre ang mga pirata with Mike Harry Zuzu scoring 26 points and 24 rebounds with two blocks. In this game, it was Mr. Brightside, Bright Aquetti, 21 points, nine rebounds, and four blocks for the Alta 70 to 55 win over the Blazers. For my partner, Martin Antonio, Myrtle Sarosa, our director, Abit Ramos, Larry Diang, Manong, Myrtle Sarosa, and everybody from ABS-CBN Sports, ako po si Andre Felix, magkita kita tayo ulit sa Webes, dito lamang sa NSA Season 92, sampung kulay, isang laban. Subscribe to ABS-CBN Sports in Action YouTube channel.